Carpal tunnel syndrome is one of the most common reasons that a patient would come see us here in clinic. And this is, at its root, a compressive neuropathy where the median nerve, the nerve that kind of innervates this side of your hand on the front side, on the palm side here, is getting compressed, most notably here at the wrist. Um, happens in 10 to 20% of patients, and so it is fairly common. Some of the signs and symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome is numbness in the fingers, and sometimes this can even wake you up at night. It's on the palmer side of your hand, more so on these digits near your thumb. Uh, sometimes it's worse with overuse. Um, and again, uh, some of the most notable symptoms are having it wake you up at night and feeling like you need to shake out your hand or wrist. The different treatment options for carpal tunnel syndrome uh, revolve around bracing, and again, this is mostly bracing that you wear at night. As your wrist flexes down when you sleep, it increases the pressure on the nerve in the carpal tunnel. And as such, bracing your wrist in kind of a neutral position helps improve those symptoms and gives the nerve and your hand some reprieve while you sleep at night. In addition to that, sometimes a steroid injection can be beneficial, but this is different per each patient and worth a good discussion. Um, if the patient fails these conservative options, Oftentimes we then can proceed to surgery, which does fairly well, and is in fact the most common surgery that a hand surgeon does on a regular basis. If we fail conservative management and end up deciding as a team that we'd like to proceed with surgery, usually it is about a four or five day period where you have a dressing in place post-operatively. Afterwards, you can take the dressing off and wash your hand normal and shower normal, um, but would stop you from doing really heavy lifting for about two weeks. After surgery, we just need the skin to heal, so as long as we're delicate enough that we're not causing issues there, patients should do excellent. At two weeks, that's when you'd see me post-operatively, and we can remove any sutures if necessary, and at that time, normally I allow you to do all activities as tolerated without restriction.